Everybody doing? Doing good. good. All right. Questions? Coach, how much of this week is SMU versus, you know, just focusing on you guys? Probably 50-50, you know, maybe a little bit more focusing on us. I mean, we're introducing SMU, uh, but we focus, you know, tremendously on uh, things that we need to do better. And, uh, you know, we've kind of broke the days up into um, certain situations each day. Um, so we had, you know, a lot of stuff yesterday, uh, you know, middle of the field stuff, you know, certain special teams. And then today, you know, we worked uh, a lot of third down, uh, a lot of short yardage goal line, red zone stuff. Um, and then we'll, tomorrow we'll hit uh, some of our late game stuff and uh, finish up the special teams. Was there anything specific you guys pointed to over the first, you know, four or five games just that you had to work on? We have, that's what I'm saying. That's all that stuff we've worked the last two days. There's a lot of stuff that we've isolated out and I've met with the staffs, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, and I've met with each position group and, um, you know, talked to them a lot and just things that each individual group needs to work on. I've met with a lot of individuals about things they need to improve on. So it's been a, a lot of stuff this week. Coach, how important is it this week to kind of get those guys who aren't getting the game reps a chance to kind of see a little bit more practice time and get a chance to sharpen their skills? Well, that's, that's what we've that's what we've done at the end of practice the last two days. Um, now, you know, we've with our like with our competitions this week, we've gotten not just our ones and twos, we've got our third group. Uh, they've gotten reps in our, all of our competition stuff this week, which has been good. Raheem's got a lot of work this week, and then at the end of practice yesterday and today. Uh, we let our, our guys that are, uh, you know, being redshirted and stuff, uh, we let them, you know, get a little, you know, mini scrimmage, you know, 10, 15 plays each day. And, you know, everybody enjoys watching that. And it's been really exciting. I really enjoy watching the film of that because you see young guys that, you know, that aren't playing yet and you get to see them, you know, running our defense, running our offense and let you evaluate them, which I think that's important to do during this bye week. Coach, I asked you after the game, if you – look at making any changes, you know, kind of what's that balance like of, you don't want to get away from, you know, kind of what you guys have had success with, but also right. adapt and change, you know, when you are struggling at times. Well, you know, the big thing, and we, and we talked about it on the coaches show Monday night was just how much time we'd spent on that last game. But, uh, you know, really we've evaluated everything, personnel, who's, who's on the field, who's not, uh, how we're using personnel, um, you know, Schematically, we've looked at things we're doing well, things we need to do better. Um, I've laid out some some specific areas for uh, all three phases that uh, I want them to have a concrete plan going to this next game of how to you know address you know deficiencies better. Um, so hopefully, all that pays off and us uh, you know playing at a much higher level. How do you address the the drops you've seen from the receiver position? Seems like it's, we're seeing it every week. Yeah, so. They've, uh, we've started doing up downs for incomplete passes that uh, are catchable. Um, we've made everything we can with the receivers and the DBs a competition. Um, and, you know, and, and I'll tell you what, they really responded great yesterday. I mean, that's the best we've attacked the ball. Um, I've been extremely blunt with a couple of guys that, you know, if you want the ball to come your way, you better start catching it or you're not going to see it anymore. Um, now, I wish I could go out there and catch it for them, but I can't but they've got to go out there and they've got to perform. On that note, Soel had a nice contested catch and a good game. Is When a guy plays like that, it's like, okay, let's, let's maybe get him more involved. Well, you know, the thing that I guess that nobody's noticed is the last three games he's played better and better and gotten more and more involved each week. So he's definitely trending upward. Now the thing I challenged him with is now you gotta, you got to stack another game, another positive game on top of that. You know, if he can continue to improve on his performance, uh, then obviously – uh, that's good for us, but I just I think that kid's got a very high ceiling. How have you insulated yourself, or maybe even the team, of just kind of all the outside talks and opinions about the team, and how have you guys just not well, that worried about? I'll it? be honest, I really don't look at a whole lot and really don't care. I mean, uh, if I'm worried about what anybody outside this building thinks, and I don't need to be doing this job. Uh, my internal expectations are much higher than anybody else's around here. So, uh, you know, I've got enough pressure on myself from just me. Uh, now, the kids, uh, we've talked about it a lot. We talked about it this summer. We talked about it during preseason camp. I talk about it, you know, every year because, you know, if, if, we, if we win and we play well and they're looking at anything that anybody's saying out there, 
uh, you know, that's going up, they're going to have an inflated ego for themselves and, you know, it's, it's going to be too much for them because they can't handle that much patent on the back. And the same thing for the negativity. I mean, if, if you're reading all that stuff and you're listening to people that have no clue what they're talking about and you're actually valuing their opinion, it's not going to help you any. You know, you got to make sure that you keep yourself focused on listening to people that actually know, you know, what's going on and, and what reality is. Um, so I just, you can't get caught up in that stuff. And that's, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm not talking about just ECU. It doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, because you got stuff like that at every, every school across the country. Uh, you got to focus on what you're doing day to day. You got to focus on trying to be the best version of you you can be every day. You got to focus on improving every single day. But uh, I can promise you this there's a lot of people around here that care a lot about how the Pirates play and have a lot of pride in how the Pirates play. And that's our focus right now.